the body of the fifth transporter itself is not bad in every sense, but as for safety, keep in mind that age and intensive commercial use mercilessly take their toll. On older cars, you should check the side sliding doors over time, the roller type hinges were out, which is why the doors do not close well and knock on uneven surfaces. The issue can be resolved by replacing the rollers, but for owners of copies with a body that has become warped over time, this is already a routine operation. Prestigious multivans were equipped with rear and side door closers, but their closing sensors fail over time. The worst thing is that corrosion is already reaching many transporter T5 copies, nothing can be done about it, even high-quality German galvanization does not last forever. The first spots of it appear on the rear, end, door, in second place are the thresholds and other hidden cavities. Moreover, the thresholds have two problems, they rust both inside and outside. Another important place is the side members on the bottom. This is the most important strength element of the body, they are strong enough to resist corrosive destruction over many years, but if the previous owners lost the plugs, conditions inside are favorable for intense rusting. Since the body is large, do not be surprised that you will find many small areas of corrosion on it. Most likely, this is the result of long-standing paint chips, exposed metal resists corrosion for a long time, but these spots still need to be touched up. Transporters that were constantly overloaded or tormented by fast driving on broken roads will delight you with cracks near the front suspension cups, under the hood. Since no one will tell you the whole truth about the car's mileage, inspect the curtains of the front doors, yes, not only the driver's door. At the third or fourth hundred thousand mileage, the doors will definitely hang unless, of course, the hinges have already been repaired in one way or another. The finishing materials are durable and wear-resistant, which is natural for a car that not only carries the owner to and from work, but also has to work all day long. At least up to 200 to 300,000 kilometers there should be no signs of wear, but you need to understand that there are very few transporters with such mileage, most have run many times more. Accordingly, there will be problems with the interior equipment, despite the fact that new parts are not cheap. I have good news for you. Now, if you are planning to buy a used car, or learn more about your car, you no longer need to search for the information you need on the internet, we have collected everything in one place for you, on the website carmi.pro, here you can find out everything about the car, what brakes and at what mileage, any problems with engines, chassis or gearboxes, which trim levels are better not to mess with and how not to lose money buying a used car, you will learn all this on, carm.pro. There were practically two lines of engines before and after the 2009 restyling, and it is clear that diesel engines dominate them. At first, the most popular was a whole selection of 1.9-liter engines, 84 to 102 horsepower, thanks to the pump injectors that were relatively simple and reliable. More powerful diesel engines in 2003 to 2009. There were 2.5-liter 5-cylinder engines, 130 to 174 horsepower, from the same indestructible cohort with pump injectors. But in 2009, all diesel engines became 2.0-liter and with an electronically controlled common rail power system, 84 to 180 horsepower. As for gasoline units, until 2009 there were two naturally aspirated engines, a 2.0-liter with 115 horsepower, and the top 3.2-liter 230 to 235 horsepower, and the latter was one of the coolest units in the history of Volkswagen a 206-cylinder VR6, that is, the so-called inline-shifted 6 with a cylinder camber angle of 15 degrees. After updating the model, the 2.0-liter naturally aspirated engine remained in service, and the VR6 unit was replaced with 2.0-liter TSI turbo engines producing 150 horsepower and 204 horsepower for all-wheel drive version 4 motion. The T5 pump injector turbo diesels have a huge resource, but it can only be realized if the appropriate oils are used and the fuel equipment operates correctly. You need to use only oils that have VW approvals, for a 1.9L engine 50,501 or 50,700, with a DPF particulate filter, which appeared at the end of 2006, and for a 2.5L engine 50601. 
Otherwise, increased wear of the head parts occurs cylinder block, camshafts in their beds, hydraulic compensators, etc. 15 to 20,000 kilometers on the left oil is enough to damage the cylinder head. The timing belts of the 1.9 liter TDI and 2.0 liter petrol engines are equipped with a belt, which is changed along with the rollers every 120 and 90,000 kilometers, respectively. The timing belt of the 2.5 TDI engine has a gear drive, and the attachments have the same drive. By the mileage of 150,000 km, the damper couplings of the generator and air conditioning compressor may fail, they are cut off, but this does not lead to serious problems. The timing belt of the 3.2 liter engine is driven by a chain, which can stretch out by 100 to 150,000 km, and its hydraulic tensioner can wear out. By 100,000 km in turbo diesels, the fastening of the intercooler pipes weakens, problems arise in the vacuum valves of the turbine control, after 150,000 km the booster pump and the high pressure pump, HP pump, where there is one may fail. Another completely typical age-related problem with diesel engines is the loss of tightness of the sealing rings of the pump injectors, which causes diesel fuel to enter the oil system. In the 2.5 liter engine, the oil cooler lost its tightness, lubricant enters the cooling system, and the pump leaked after 100,000 kilometers. In the latter case, antifreeze gets into the oil, it loses its quality, and the owner can already prepare to replace the stuck camshaft, rockers, and injector cams. Lubrication problems with all 2.5 liter transporter T5 diesel engines are causing yet another disaster. The cylinder block here is aluminum, and the cylinders in it are framed with a layer of stronger metal, sprayed in a plasma stream. Due to a lack of oil, the coating becomes scuffed, resulting in the engine needing major overhaul. Therefore, experienced motorists advise not to abuse the high torque of 1.9 and 2.5 liter T5 diesel engines, and to drive less at low speeds when the oil pressure is minimal. The 2.0 TDI engines are more reliable than their 1.9 liter and 2.5 liter counterparts, since it has a different timing belt and a different cylinder head. Its own weak points are more delicate turbine and fuel injection pump, but this can be said about any diesel engine in principle. But in general, many experts consider this unit to be the most successful of the Volkswagen T5 engines. Around 300,000 kilometers, diesel owners need to be prepared for the costs associated with the DPF particulate filter, it eventually becomes clogged and needs to be either replaced or, sorry, broken through with a crowbar. Diesels have another common minor problem engine mounts, which are destroyed more often than we would like. Note that this is often not due to the quality of the supports themselves, but to engine shaking due to problems with the fuel equipment. At the same time, due to good noise and vibration insulation, the driver does not always notice these provoking phenomena in time. Among gasoline engines, the most problem-free is the naturally aspirated 2.0 liter. In the 3.2 liter, in addition to timing faults, failure of individual ignition coils was noted. It is also the most voracious, in the city, about 17.0 liters per hundred, although it provides the best dynamics, 10.5 s to 100 kilometers per hour, 2.5 liter TDI 13175 HP, 15, 3S and 12.2S respectively. Among the annoying and seemingly minor malfunctions of gasoline engines, one can note the corrosion, at first hidden, of the ground wires, which, when rotted, cause inexplicable ignition failures. In its original form, the Transporter T5, the car is front-wheel drive, the four-motion all-wheel drive transmission is more common in the multivan. In general, for motion has proven itself to be reliable, except that with long runs, about 250,000 kilometers, the outboard bearings of the drive shaft may wear out, a characteristic hum can be heard while driving. However, at specialized service stations they are changed and the shafts are balanced. But the vast majority of transporters are driven only by the front axle. T5 were equipped with 5 and 6 speed manual gearboxes, Eisen automatic torque converter gearboxes with 6 steps, and after restyling, pre selective DSG robots of the DQ500 type. A classic automatic is more reliable than a manual. 
In manual transmissions, already at about 150,000 km, the spline connections of the axle shafts broke, and after 100,000 km the damper flywheel fails. It is clear that on the TE5th sold today, these components have already been repaired, and the buyer's task is to understand how high quality the repair was since the transporter forgives the artisanal approach and will somehow drive for some time after the purchase. Inside the 5-speed gearbox itself, the weak point is considered to be the traditional sore point of Volkswagens, the differential, and also the input shaft bearing, which needs to be replaced on time so that it does not break its nest in the case. In the clutch of 2.5-liter versions, the slave cylinder sometimes leaks. There is no official requirement to change the oil in the manual transmission, although mechanics advise doing so periodically. The T5 uses a successful torque converter automatic transmission with efficient cooling, which allows it to last up to 300,000 km, true, provided that the oil is changed every 60,000 km. The later robotic DSG is also a successful model, the 7-speed with clutches in an oil bath also works up to 300,000 km, but it is very expensive to repair and is not the best option for a used commercial vehicle. The T5 has an independent McPherson suspension at the front and a double wishbone at the rear. There are anti-roll bars at the front and rear, which allows you to confidently stay on the road even during sharp maneuvers. The suspension is well-tuned, with good energy capacity, varies in rigidity depending on the modification. After 60,000 km, the consumables of both stabilizers are changed, up to 90,000 km the rear silent blocks of the front levers, support bearings of the struts and ball joints are used. The rubber bands of the rear suspension arms last about 120,000 km, shock absorbers and front silent blocks of the front arms last 100 to 150,000 km. With mileage over 200 to 250,000 km, the power steering pump may hum, and even later, after 300,000, the steering rack begins to knock. But all these calculations relate to factory units, which, of course, are already out of stock on almost all T5S and have been replaced or overhauled. So the buyer's job is to try to understand how good the previous owner's repairs were. We can only say good things about the transporter T5 brakes, they are effective, durable, and unpretentious. But therein lies the catch, an owner who has lost vigilance can start the system and lead it to the need for large-scale repairs with the replacement of discs, calipers, and hydraulic elements. Most T5S are thoroughly worn out, after all, that's why they are bought. Moreover, based precisely on the commercial essence of the machine and in view of its endurance, not all owners bother with timely maintenance and selection of high-quality spare parts. So be prepared for a series of repairs after purchase and remember that everything will be expensive, both parts and labor. Because it is a commercial vehicle, not a passenger car. On the other hand, the VW Transporter T5 can repair almost everything that is needed, also because it is not a passenger car.